Hello, may God in the heavens watch over your life. Psalm 91 is one of the most powerful psalm contained in the Bible, in God's word. It's a psalm that has the power to bless you with protection and break many bonds in your life. Furthermore, it brings the blessing of protection to your home and family. Today, we will be praying Psalm 91, and you can be sure that after praying Psalm 91 with you, God will greatly bless you. I would like you to pray this psalm with me, repeating the words aloud or silently so you can claim all the promises contained in this powerful prayer of Psalm 91. Feel free to leave your prayer requests in Psalm 91, especially in this Psalm 91 prayer. I would like you to write the names of your family members in the comments because Psalm 91, as I mentioned before, is a powerful psalm of victory for the family and our home. Leave the names of your family members in the comments because I will pray for them and present them to God for His glory. We are already a great prayer family here on YouTube, and I would like you to start by giving a like to this video, because every time you give a like, you're letting YouTube know that what you are watching and listening to is beneficial for you and can be shared with others. So it's very important that you give a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can find the subscribe button below. I would like you to click it so that more powerful prayers reach your device through YouTube. Get ready because after this prayer in Psalm 91, you will see God's action. And I have a direction to give you. You can listen to this prayer, repeat it throughout the week, and it will benefit you greatly. If you can listen to this Psalm 91 prayer for seven days, praying with it, it will be very good for you. Now I will pray with you this powerful psalm of blessing, victory, breaking of bonds, and family protection. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you. With his feathers and under his wings, you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord my God and my Father, God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, Jehovah Rapha, the Healing God, Jehovah Jireh, the Providing God, Jehovah Shalom, the God of Peace, Jehovah El Elyon, the God who has control over everything. Under the prayer of Psalm 91, I come to ask you at this moment to break all the bonds in this person's life, all the spiritual, family, financial, and health bonds, to be shattered and fall to the ground at this moment, O Almighty God. I ask you to send a strong angel, an angel with a drawn sword to the house of this person so that, my God, it breaks every action of the enemy, every malicious action that is upon this person's house every action of the enemy in the form of fights, in the form of discord in marriage, in the form of discord in marriage, in the form of cooling off, in the form of curse works, in the form of tribulations, 
in the form of afflictions. Touch now with your power so that this person's house is covered by your blood, that it is protected according to your word in Psalm 91, where it says, No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. My God, I break at this moment every curse surrounding this home, that every work raised against this life falls to the ground. Under the power of the prayer of Psalm 91, I declare that every work written, buried, cast to the wind, or spoken by the mouth of someone wishing harm to this person falls to the ground. I declare that every illness that has affected this life, caused by some evil being or a spirit of sickness, falls to the ground now by your power. I declare that it begins to fall to the ground, that it withdraws under the blessing of this hour, that all the illnesses of this body begin to dissipate. Almighty Father, Psalm 91 says that the Lord will deliver us from snares. So I ask you to deliver this person from all the snares and traps of the enemy. Deliver their home. Deliver their family. Deliver their family. Deliver this person from wicked men from the snares of violent men. Deliver this person from stray bullets, from accidents. Father, when they leave their home, may the angels accompany this person on their departure and return. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that this person will not stumble, will not fall. I declare the blessing of Almighty God upon this life. Please raise your right hand and repeat these words with me, either aloud or in your mind. Now with me, like this, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, now, tomorrow, and forever. And say, Amen, and give thanks to God. Take possession of this prayer. I am sure you take possession of it. And I want to tell you that all the blessings contained in Psalm 90, one are now upon you, upon your home, upon your home, upon your family. I want to repeat, if you can listen to this prayer for seven days, seven is the number of God. It is the number of perfection. If you can find this Psalm 90, one prayer on this channel, and listen to it for the next seven days, it will be very good. Then, you can share your testimonies here in the comments. I know there will be many. I also want to ask you to send this prayer to your relatives, to your friends. How many people now need the great blessings of victory and protection from Psalm 91 in their lives? Send it to your friends and family. 
all of them will be greatly blessed.